Hi, this is Sabrian from FU for All, and we are for a new tutorial about Fortran in which I will show you how to define arrays of numbers. Well, uh, so if you use Fortran for uh, numerical uh, analysis, a computation of uh, algorithms and things like that, you will need to have a uh, definition of vectors, of matrices, and all, all of this. So let me show you how to do that, basically. Uh, so let's open a new terminal prompt and let's cd into my desktop uh, Fortran folder uh, and let's create a new uh, a new file that I will call array.f95 okay now let's make a, a small program that will uh, show you how to define an array so let's call it um, so program let's call it array and program array uh, so the first step is implicit none and then we have to declare the variable so how will I declare my uh, array so uh, first of all you have to know uh, array of what so let's do array of real and then the keyword you need to remember is dimension uh, and then you write your array but it's not as simple as that you have to tell it exactly what is the dimension of your array so uh, if you uh, have an array of three values well you have to write like that dimension three uh, and then how do you define um, how do you define your, your uh, the value inside your array well, basically you can write like that, x parenthesis 1, and let's give it a value of 2.0, uh, x, let's say 3, and let's give it a value of 5.0, uh, and let's call it x, uh, p -p 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 not 3, x2, and x is 3, equal 11, okay. Now I define the three values inside my array of dimension three. So how do I print that? Well, so you can do simply print uh, star and an X in your array, and this will print out uh, the array. So let's try it and see what I get. So uh, let's save that and let's put it in full screen and let's just uh, let's just open the shell and let's compile that so I'll call my uh, my executable array okay I'm compiling it in and you see it works so it gives me back directly the three values inside uh, the dimension of my array um, now uh, you can also do like uh, I showed in the previous video about precision uh, so when you declare the variable you can declare a uh, integer parameter which means it's a constant um, and let's call it I kind like I did and let's call it let's put it equal to 3 and then you can replace like that I kind here so it works in the same way so let's save it let's try to compute again okay now uh, what you may uh, wonder is okay I have the array of three values uh, and but you know the the thing which is you useful with arrays is to add more values to the array so you want an array that can be expanded uh, so let's see what uh, what it happens so if I have this array of three values and I decide to uh, to append a value 4 inside so let's say 4.0 let's see what it gives me and now when I'm compiling it it just gives me an uh, a warning actually it's not really an error it's a warning array reference at one is out of bound so basically I try to define something which is out of bound so it's a warning so I think it compiled it 
So if if I try actually a similar array of diamonds in three, so it I get the same answer. But basically, uh, I I still I cannot append something more by doing like that. So how do I append a new value inside an array? Um, so the the trick is to uh, to define something like that. So let's um, let's just uh, kill this line and here you just use a semicolon like that and uh, and here you have to use the keyword allocatable why is that because uh, you want to allocate memory for uh, this array so the the previous parameter icon was a parameter so it's not a variable that you cannot change but if you do like that real allocatable dimension and then you, uh, you define an integer, integer well uh, equal to let's say um, equal to i or let's call it elements and um, so I, I have an integer called elements and now uh, I can allocate so I have to for example I can set the value elements here so elements equals 3 um, and, and and then I have to allocate my memory so I use the, this allocate memory uh, x and then I give it elements so now I will allocate dynamically the memory necessary to add those into the array um, and the thing so now I have three elements so I am just adding those three elements uh, and when when the program is over you have to deallocate those uh, so deallocate x elements basically so let's say that let's again take a look um okay allocate object must be allocatable or a pointer okay so uh, i think i need to pop up i don't need to put elements here or just just the array that's so uh okay save it let's try again okay now it works um, and you see if I compile, well of course uh, I'm always getting the same thing so it's not really exciting um, but what you can do here is basically you remember uh, what I did I just wanted to append a value 4 uh, equal to I don't know 12 um, but here I just have to change the number of element to 4 and if I uh, just try again, now I I automatically expanded the size of my array. So you could do uh, a program that basically uh, do a loop in which you know it will automatically expand the array in function of uh, the size of uh, of the array you want. So calculate first the number of value you need in your array, uh, and you know expand the size, uh, allocate more memory. Well. You could do all those things. Okay, uh, so that's basically all for this tutorial. So I think you you, you learned a lot about how to use uh, arrays in Fortran. So uh, thank you very much for for watching this uh, video. I hope uh, it was useful. So and if if you like it, please just like the video or subscribe to the channel. Uh, it would be nice. So thank you again, and see you for the next video. So if you are on YouTube, you'll probably find the link to the article and the next videos inside the description. Otherwise, you can go on my blog fefall.com uh, and click in the category open source FEA and you'll find all the articles I wrote about uh, open source FEA and the previous videos inside this category. So thank you for watching. I hope that you learned a lot and that you will learn a lot using all the videos that I am sharing on my blog. So if you like those videos, 
please help me to share them with your friends and other engineers and also please let me know what you think in the comments it's always great to have some kind of feedback and if you have some ideas of things you would like to learn or do with FEA please also let me know thank you for watching again